Hello and welcome back to our Not Quite Ottomans World Conquest campaign. At the moment, we are eating up some of these little island nations over here. We're punishing Morocco for trying to dare to spread their nasty increased coring cost ickiness. And we're doing a whole bunch of exploring. Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to actually have to slow down some of these claimings because I want to get Novgorod into a position to integrate them when the 10 years is up from integrating Persia, which is actually in like two years time. Um, and I need to go send my warnings again because they're apparently, apparently running out. It's awkward, so... war for you. Sure. Where was this? That's inconvenient. You guys, come get that. Sind, you are also not allowed to attack the, uh, the last of the Timurids. Now that he can't attack, he moves his units away. <laughs> Very good. Which is exploring? Ah, Africa. So we'll explore south. Atlantic, because we're basically there. There we go. Morocco returns Timbuktu to existence. And it got rid of, got rid of a lot of those increased boring costs. These two stayed. Three stayed. That one has got to go as well at some stage, but... For the moment, we're not unin un unimpressed with our result. We'll move them over to Kior here so that we can attack Jolof. Peace out over here, which might mean these boats stop freezing. South China Sea. Yeah, South China Coast. Claim on the second to last one on Kilwa. What about our piece here? Also ends soon. So we'll be able to do Jolof and Betisa. I can't say it. Betsimisaka. Saraka. No, I'm not marrying you. I'm in fact unallying you at the nearest convenience. Thank you. 
Boom. Eat, eat. Get rid of these silly forts. continues on its way at last. What else can we do? We could probably get ready for war with Marja Bait. I would need a claim on somewhere first. Uh, both of those are going to be rather challenging to threaten out of him, I imagine. But all of them are. Oh, no, not that one. Not Kendal. So... Recall, send, start fabricating against Majavait. So that we can get a landing point from which to declare holy wars in the future. This coasts are about to be explored, and I'll be able to war on Tenerit and Tidor. There we go. <clears throat> Move our boats next door so we can blockade. This one's even kind of worth making into a real state at the end of it. There's so much production value, and you can give these two to the um, you can give these two that have the increased spice islands modifier to the merchants and make a hell of a lot of money off them. How many do we need? Ten, you say? Easily done. This also prevents them from colonizing if you leave them alone too long. They get colonists. Then they're just a hassle to kill off. Okay, and then these guys can... what? I don't know. We'll work out something to do with them. I've got to threaten Japan. I've got to threaten Marjabait once I get that claim. We're about to get the last claim on Kilwa. War in not that long. About Kat Betty Katisam. Betsimi Saraka. Also not that long. Good, good. I'll do Betsimi Saraka, then Kilwa with these guys. When's Jolof? August. Then I'll be able to stop attritioning here. And we've finished exploring South China Sea. <clears throat> so we do China Sea Coast, I guess. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, start working on what? some autonomy increases go away, so let's check if they need fixing. More thing. I'll gain the Diplo power, because our king is so old that modifiers until his death are probably not going to be very valuable. We will improve with Elfrod for a couple of months. At least until we can call him back to do Joloff, then we can eat the last of Muscovy. Whew, we're busy, busy, busy. month, so we call back from Nogo. Someone's exploration finished. It looks like it was Caribbean, so we'll explore the Caribbean coast. Okay, it must be at the end of the month. <coughs> so we'll peace out with T-Door. Get rid of the fort, improve, or In fact, this way might let us get in those threatened wars before we declare the wars on um, Joloff and Muscovy. Depending on how quickly this goes. Damn it, we need one more month. Prestige. One more month, we can cancel this. Sweet. You will have justice. XP. 
exploration finished, probably the Atlantic one. No. South China Sea, go for it. Now that I've got these islands, we can room down here a bit more. And now that we've got this, we can get our claim on Kendall. the claims. Pull that back. <clears throat> it would be beautiful if this finished, but alas, no such luck. So we will improve with Novgo. One of these will get that, that war finished. <laughs> Come on. Finish off. Come on. Um, well, we don't want to do nothing with our guys, with our diplomats. So we'll pre, we'll, we'll work here. We'll keep working here, and then we'll get those other claims on his remaining provinces when we finish that war. Come on, finish. Thank you. Out here. And money. Call back from Novgorod at the turn of the month. Got all of those threats to do, and they're quite distant, some of them. <clears throat> Grab our units together. They won't be needed here. But we could be useful over in Betsimi Saraka. stuff. Now I have a land border so that next time I can just declare holy war on them. Then we do Japan. One of our explorers finished. South China Sea. Let's do... Western Indian Ocean. Here is our Japan landing. Perfect. Next. Love to do this. He does. So goodbye, Muscovy. Simi Soraka. His allies won't honor. We can take everything.
I'm happy to start that now. Now, um, we will want those last two claims on Jolof when we're finished here, so we leave that. I definitely want to start integrating Novgorod once this set of wars are finished. Yeah, and... No. No, it might be worth it to move these across and do the Yarkand War. same time, then that's just the way it's got to be. Spare diplomat, you say. Well, I can get one more claim against Yakin before that war. Good. Which will then let me go to war with Malili. Mali, sorry, not Malili. Mali. 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 Oh. Yan and Wu are not friends anymore for some reason. But I'd rather get in position for Yarkand.
Okay, he has islands somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, good gosh, bless me. Well, that explains why he's trying to drop troops here. Hmm. No. Don't try to do that, Memmingen. And, okay. Upgrade my friends. And that over here. Come back into port. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. And upgrade you. Until the death of my king, my king is terribly old. But, legitimacy means nothing when we're at a hundred, so sure. Oop, none of that. In fact, let's split up so that we border every single coastal province and then he can't drop on anything. Hurry up and fall. So we can peace out. Now, we can get our claim, our last needed claim on Yarkand, and go to. No, we need two. Well, we don't need two, we only need one. Anyway, we'll get this one and go to war. This will have given enough time for Delhi to move all his troops to the other side. Not that he's very big, but it's a help. Make claim. I would rather. Bakwan? Or. I would rather your dish cool. It's come back, declare that war. There, now we can't drop troops off anywhere. One of our explorers have finished. And you know what? That makes an excellent place to put a cut. So, we'll start this exploring. Oh, North Atlantic? Yep. And then we'll put a cut. So thank you for joining me. This has been The Blobber with our Not Quite Ottoman World Conquest. We've expanded a little bit down here. We're about to go zoom, 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 zoom. So it's expanding in Africa and at the top just above India. I hope you've enjoyed watching and will join us again soon. Bye.